A chocolate lover's dream, a golden ticket into the Seas Candies candy making factory, home to a slow rolling chocolate roller coaster, marzipan lined wall to wall, and a truffle room where a batch of tempered chocolate and nut dust is gracefully applied by hand on every single truffle. You know what I noticed even in the box area? It smells like chocolate. Oh my gosh. Even it though the boxes are empty. It's tremendous, yeah. So this is 200 yards from my desk, right? You know, how do you, I can't run enough miles. I've been a customer since I was a kid. Pat Egan is the new president and CEO of Seas Candies, headquartered in South San Francisco. And when he tells me to put the finishing touches on an orange bonbon, well, I give it a shot. You can just tell how different mine looks to the beautifully crafted other ones. The attention to detail is what Egan says separates Seas from competition. Pretty much everything that comes out of here, um, a human hand with a glove touches at some Why point not in the have process. A robot? You could do so much more. Because it would not, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have the same flavor profile. We wouldn't have this, and it's part of our story. This is how we make it. These are skilled. These are these folks have been here for decades, Artists. right? Artists, ab absolutely. The company started back in 1921. Charles Sees opens his first candy shop, selling his mother Mary's delicious confections made from her own original recipes. In 1936, Sees came to the Bay Area, opening its first store in San Francisco. And later in 1972, Warren Buffett purchased Sees, making it part of the Berkshire Hathaway family. Seas makes 27 million pounds of candy every year, much of it right here in this 200,000 square foot candy making factory. This is where we store some more of the boxes, um, and it's also where we have our raw materials. So everything from the chocolate sprinkles that go on a Bordeaux piece, right. so those come from Guitard, which is one of our San Francisco partners. They're older than us, 152 or so years now. Peanut butter, fruit pieces, all the fresh ingredients are stacked on pallets sky high. Okay. Cool little hand swipe. And this is what's called the goods and process room, a prep kitchen of sorts. Everything that's going to go inside of a piece of chocolate or inside of a bonbon or something like that usually comes here first. So you can see it's temperature controlled, uh, dehumidified, which is important in the Bay Area, of course. And uh, so this is usually at least um, several days, if not a week ahead. So that the following week, we're just good to go. Seas makes about 150 different pieces of candy, many centered around chocolate. And these large machines temper the chocolate in just minutes. The chocolate is then spread onto this massive water chilled table. Ultimately, whether it's chocolate or another filling, it's then taken to this room where a machine slices it up. This is a caramel almond center, it looks like. Um, and so each one of those is ultimately getting cut, uh, sliced vertically, I guess, and then kind of horizontally before it goes in to the roving process. The production line is graced with dedicated employees who are eyeing each piece of tasteful treasure. They're looking at it to make sure that it's right, the right size and everything else. Because every now and then you may have a bad cut. Potentially. We're making sure that it's it stands upright, that it's at the right temperature so that when the chocolate hits the piece and it's perfectly tempered, um, that it's, it's just exactly as we want it. And when this layer of chocolate hits the almond center chew, it's a beautiful sight. So too is the future, says Patty. Again, the company is about to celebrate 100 years. A lot of our recipes are the original recipes from Mary C's, and that is great, and we're always going to keep that. But we know um, customer tastes are changing. Uh, they want a little bit more variance from C's as a, as a place that they love to come and shop. So that centennial gives us such a great opportunity to introduce a whole new generation, a whole new set of customers.